awesome. Hello, fellow LEGO people. It's Aaron. It's time for another video. Today we're doing something a little different. We're going to do a mock spotlight. We're going to go over three really cool mocks I've found. Now you might be saying, well, what's a mock? Mock is LEGO slang for my own creation, and that's just something that someone like you or I would build and share with the world on the internet. A lot of these are found on Rebrickable.com, and there's really cool mocks here. It's a great resource for finding mocks of any genre that you might want. We are starting with Kit from Knight Rider, and Kit is a computerized talking car that can jump and do a bunch of other cool things. As a kid in the 80s, I loved the show, and I think this is a really cool minifig scale kit. It looks great, and it was built by Jerry Builds Bricks, and his instructions are below. I also took a little take and made a few changes, and my instructions are listed below in the description as well. But yeah, it looks really great. And I even bought the LEGO Dimensions set that comes with the Michael Knight minifigure, so I have an official Michael Knight minifig to go with Kit. Cool mock, Jerry Builds Bricks. Next up, The Last Starfighter's Gunstar 1. Now, I saw this movie in the theaters in 1984 as a little kid, and I loved it. This movie is basically the prototype for Ernest Cline's Ready Player One. It's about a kid who is so good at a video game, he gets recruited by aliens to pilot a starship called Gunstar One. And yes, you may be saying, does it have Death Blossom mode? Of course it does. Um, this set was made by Spark Art, and he's got his instructions on his Flickr page. I also made a few tweaks, and I have my version of Spark Art's instructions also listed below in the description. But look at it, it looks great. Here is the final one. It's the DeLorean from Back to the Future. LEGO actually has their own official DeLorean in minifig scale, but I think this looks better. My only complaint is that it only seats one minifigure. It does not have a passenger seat, but look at it, it's fantastic. This was made by Florian Wayne, and the instructions for this set are not free. I think they're like five bucks, but it, it's totally worth it. Give them the five bucks, download the instructions, and build this. You might notice the wheel wells are a little different color than the rest of the set, but those pieces are not available in light bluish gray, only flat silver. So we use those here. It totally works, and I have my own cool Lego DeLorean. And yes, I did make my own license plate because I didn't want to buy the official piece, but. Uh, yeah, that's the Lego DeLorean from Florian Wayne, and it is recommended. I hope you liked these throwback to the 80s sets. Like I said, Rebrickable is a great resource for mocks. You can just look at stuff. A lot of them are free. You don't have to pay for any of them. You can download the instructions and get to building. And that's about it for today. I gotta go because, well, I'm out of time. Ha! Get it? See? Get it? It's on the license plate there. Out of time. Yeah, sorry. Uh, give me a like if you liked this video. Subscribe to see more. I want to thank you for watching and keep on building.